missing, I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people, I pray I go I ain't. for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. How much you understand? Uh, no, uh, so, no. which one would you rather do? Uh, research research or homework? Research? Yeah, the way you define that, oh, research. Research? Research, research. 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 I'm staying with my ass. Yeah. Research. 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 I like to call it Lil Reese's research. Now, you, Lil Reese, I wish that man can go in an interview and understand what's going on in the world because he does interviews and he don't know shit. Like, every time someone asks this nigga Lil Reese a question, his response will be, shit, I don't know. I gotta do my research on that shit. I don't know nothing about that on BD. That's, that, that's his words. He might say that shit even if he do though, and low key you know, it's kind of working for him. That shit been that shit been the way to go. Like he smart as hell, cause I do it go. That shit funny as hell, and that shit <laughs> yeah, no, it exclude him from whatever he do though. So like he and I also respect the fact that he not trying too hard to be so obsessed with like worldly, like otherworldly shit like that's going on out there. Kind of seem like he focused on his motherfucking self. If he heard of it, he heard of it. If not, and shit, shit really that's the best bet. He ain't gotta tell him motherfucking shit. Yeah, but the thing is, the fans feel like he should. You should know this, nigga. Like, yeah. how are you a celebrity and you don't know the fuck going on? But I feel like we're being a little bit too hard on Reese. Maybe he genuinely <laughs> don't know. But just because he don't know shit, don't mean that you don't know shit either. So I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about some various topics, Trello. And if you don't know about these topics, all you have to say is, "I gotta do my research." You do not have to elaborate if you don't want to. And these questions don't apply for just you. You're all in this game, so I'm gonna ask y'all questions about various topics. If you don't know about it, all you have to say is, I gotta do my research. Now, are you niggas ready? Yes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Alright, first one. Aunt Glizzy says he knows Chief Keith from running for his life and hiding on the buses. I don't believe that's true. I ain't never heard that before. I got the research? Yeah. Would you like the answer to this homework? I mean, I mean, I mean, you want, would you like to know what the fuck going on? Yeah. That shit true. Yeah. According to some niggas from niggas, to, according to Aunt Glizzy and somebody from uh -huh. DC, they live. I'm not gonna say who, but I've been confirmed that this shit is real. And this shit was going on back in 2013 when Chief Keith was beefing with Shot Glizzy. Yeah. What? So this, so this actually some true shit to it. So, so, so you. And even Chief Keith even got on his ass for that for talking about it in interviews. Yeah. But he didn't be confirmed. Oh, Cheeky did not get deconfirm. That ain't bad shit to do with me, bro. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's this nigga ain't never just stepped out. Out his own interview. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. This, 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 this interview was recent. He really, he that he did an interview with Woody Alvarez about this. Aunt Glizzy did. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, don't know that. I, don't, I ain't, I ain't never heard of Aunt Glizzy. Oh, but, but trust I me, he's think, a wild boy. I ain't think, I'm out of Chicago. I ain't think so. This happened in DC. Yep. And by the way, Ed Glizzy is from DC. I ain't There's think. Yes, it is. Oh, I don't know why people. Yeah, like, why are you even on that with people? Like, I ain't. You know, as a matter of fact, as a, as, a, as a matter of fact, here's the next. Here's the next research topic. Young Chop was into it with Twenty One Savage, and Twenty One Savage DM them saying, "You think you tough just because you're from Chicago." I believe that. I heard it. You heard that? I gotta do my research. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, they was beefing with each other on some real shit. Chop even made this songs about him. Yeah. What? Mm hmm. That shit was crazy. I'm like, bro, where did this shit come from? How did that even happen? Like, I I still don't know how this happened like, to this day. What if he was trolling? No, nah, no, nah, that was serious. That was serious. That was serious. Lie. I okay. thought I thought Chop was late for a period of time. Yeah, Chop was going through some I mental health know, shit though. I don't though. know what Chop had going on, but he was definitely. Going through one of them, them periods where my phone was just black and just <laughs> okay, a whole okay. bunch of unnecessary shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Welcome back, Trello. Yeah. Yeah, and I see you got special guests here. Uh, one being. All right, so I was, just, <laughs> I was about to get them contracts too. But yeah, though, man, uh, we were just talking about Young Chop. You heard, you heard about what he had going on back then? Young Chop, you heard what he had going on? He was beefing with Twenty One Savage, and Twenty One told him, "You think you tough just because you're from Chicago." One of them got the light. Wait, y'all look for that? I got it. Yeah. I tried to give it to you. I don't know that, bro. I don't know about that. Yeah, do your research, my guy. All right, ready for the next topic? Yeah. All right, uh, next one. 
Mimos is honest said he wouldn't do a song with Cashmere just because she's from the birds. I seen that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it. That shit was funny as hell. I feel like he bogus for that though. Yeah, he bogus? I, I yeah, heard I feel like about he bogus that. For that. Man, Mimos. My thing cool. is, it's a lot of female artists out here that's cold as hell. And if you see, she clearly got talent. Why won't, why won't you do a song? With her? Like why? Why her being from the birds matter so much? Like, if it's about the song in the biz, and why does that from the birds? They be tweaking with each other on club. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. Yeah. I was surprised as hell when Mimo said that shit too. Like when I, like, I it all started because like a fake page went on Spotify and yeah. said 4800 featuring Mimo is hundred. Yeah, he was like, I would never do that. Like never do that. that. A fan <laughs> asked him why, and he, he said bold as hell. I'm like, damn. He See the fans set him up. Internet got yeah. right to it. Y'all gonna do it every time, so. But like, if we're being honest, I saw that shit at like 12 in the morning when Cashmere posted it. She said some funny shit on the ca caption, but I didn't put it up there because I didn't want to cause no shit because maybe she just misunderstood it. But Mimo made it very clear that he wouldn't do no song with her either. Damn. Yeah, that shit was crazy, man. But shit happened in the verbs too. We should discredit them all the way. That is facts. Some niggas be dying in the verbs, bro. For yeah, sure. but no, nah, they still got big ass cribs. And <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 from the sound of it, you don't believe no rapper from the birds in that street lifestyle, don't you? Basically, that's what I'm saying. Back to nah, a look, crib, that's so. not what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, they, like, the lifestyle that motherfuckers live, everybody chooses that shit, you feel me? Especially them. They have a bigger choice than the niggas in the city, you feel me? Because we don't come from big ass cribs. High schools with fucking big ass football fields and all type of shit. They got that shit. Yeah, you got feel me? You feel me? That, type that, shit. Man, them niggas out of Homewood, them niggas got an indoor football field for them niggas to practice in. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Indoor what type of shit is that? You feel me? We don't have that shit in the city. But, you bro, feel me? You got to understand. They, some, some niggas live in a suburb, bro, and just got the house, bro, and really don't be having shit. But that's because at all, they, but a house, but a nice house. Like, like, that's not all we've done to that kid. Yeah. That's because, that shit, niggas be starving, go. eating Cheerios and shit, living in a big ass house, but hey. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Cheerios is crazy, man. Cheerios. But I ain't getting no big ass house, but like, but like they got like fucked a up cribs out there too. Yeah, like, yeah, suburban yeah. homes, bro. Some of them be fucked up. Yeah, yeah. some of them be fucked up. Fucked some up. of them be fucked up, but for the majority. Yeah. For the majority. Like, yeah, if they have. It's definitely exactly. More I know multiple. I know choice. multiple niggas from the burbs that was family members had good sack, bro. Playing with so much bread, they didn't have to do none of the shit that they was doing, but they still did it just because oh, yeah, they thought it was cool. Shit, bro. You yeah, feel yeah. me? I know. Like shit, you, bro. you see it all the time, bro. We not gonna act yeah. like we don't see it all the time. Oh, no. Niggas' parents be. Then that fucking lawyers, doctors, That's fucking businessmen, and then be out goofy as hell. Yeah. But it's just how you move though, cause I ain't gonna say like that lifestyle looks so. I ain't gonna to say you can't still make money the way you make money just cause you up. Like nah, you still gotta retain your wealth at the end of the day. So I ain't never finna say nah, stop trapping or what. Nah, you know, it, you you know it, is what it, it is what it is. Getting to the money is different than yeah. crashing out doing goofy shit like yeah. like fucking your life up. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. Just for an image, bro. Like yeah, that's yeah, all right, right, right. like that, Tyler. What the fuck? Tyler is crazy. Crazy, bro. You don't have to live like that. You got a good ass home. You feel me? You try to look like your favorite rapper. Like, and the city. <laughs> and the city. niggas really doing this shit, bro. You really out here capping like motherfucker. That's disrespectful to some niggas, bro. Like, in the city, Real we shit. really got to survive, gang. Like, we. That's so the birds really don't got to survive? But, it, like, it's different, bro. Like, it's really different, bro. It's, it's You you can see the difference, bro. It's grass yeah, it's out there. It's grass, grass out, out there. there. There's no grass out here. It's grass on the low end. Yeah, it's low end. 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 Low Mm, some parts of Jolly yeah, is fucked up. Bro. Some parts. Some Jolly ass considered the birds? Yeah, that's, that's not the birds. That, that shit out the way. Yeah, that shit out the way. That's not that's Chicago. Not Chicago man. Yeah, that's Harvey fucked up. Harvey. Yeah, Harvey. Harvey kind of fucked up. That's Harvey fucked up. I'm like, yo, no, you got to be like. I forgot about Harvey. That's that's how fucked up it is. And that's what I was saying. I'm like, depending on where you was at out there, but that's one out of many. And that shit right there off Simpson can get terrible. fucked up. 
like like over there like by Cal City and shit like man yeah, that's that shit yeah, all, that shit kind of fucked up but that's just still it's like, not fucked up like the city but it's fucked yeah, up it's fucked up on, enough bro. for some of the ain't, shit ain't, to be occurring to be occurring ain't none of that shit really fucked up like the city bro yeah. mm. none of that shit for real bro for real like let's be honest and that shows that all right <laughs> <laughs> nah right, next topic. <clears throat> Mellow bus caught Amari Blaze lacking at a party oh due to a fan oh, sending yeah. locations. Yeah, yeah, that, did she get stabbed for real? Yeah. No, I just want to know if she did. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. No, bro, they Mellow so showed she got cuts no too. That was some glad you ain't see Shorty. She yeah, was they were saying it's a video of it. I ain't seen the other like, fucking you video. I'm not afraid of getting stabbed. I seen Shorty. Shorty she didn't get ass. stabbed, bro. She fell in the glass. That's what I seen. But then they were saying it's another video. That was crazy. Oh, that that shit. A fan sent Melo the location, and Melo oh, admitted it. Yeah. Yeah. A fan said she that said shit. It. She said it. She yeah, said it. Yeah, that's why. Well, that's why well, I was asking you guys to research videos on. about that. Yeah. Oh, she went. Melo went on live saying this shit yeah. on her Facebook, yeah. and, and that's why I was asking if you did research on like that's a fan sent the location. That's why it's like it was stupid for her to even. I don't know for you how to even act beef like. If you and know that just shows how real this shit is, right? If you know you doing shows, you know you. You feel me? Like you still out, you gotta be an artist. Why would you even pick that beat? Like dog, that was that was crazy. He said that. Hey, the real question is like, who's this song better? Don't ask me. I, I'm not. I, I don't promote this songs no more, so I can't even answer that question. That's on y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I feel, nah, Melo. I feel like Melo did everything she said she was gonna do with her this song. But <laughs> she's and, not, and, and and she, every she, 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 she did say, she did say, she did say after this song, I'm still gonna punch that mouth or something yeah, like that. Yeah, she, she did. She, she said uh, she no, was gonna say it. Yeah, she did say yeah. that. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm on shit too. But, yeah. Off of that alone, I gotta give it to Melo. Yeah, you feel yeah. Off of that yeah. alone, yeah. I'm so I'm so she lost so that battle, bro. bro. So every one of y'all say Melo had the best this song. I didn't say shit. I don't even really know. Okay, I, I okay. think this was more real, but like, I like the Amari's better. I feel like Amari, she was flowing her shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. She, she was, was eating her shit, shit up, bro. Then she had the little Amari. props and all that type of shit, so I'm like, damn. She like, no, no, she, she, she pulled out with facts. Yeah, she, she pulled out real She pulled out pictures like, and she, she like, did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. She called her, she really did that. I'm like, damn, like, you know? That's fucked up. And I think, and for what has been said, what Amari did was not only make the diss song, but she exposed her, called her out, and put a whole lot of shit out there on some exposing on the internet shit. And I heard she disrespected Melo's mother, which is kind of the reason why Melo took it personal enough to want to be her. Oh, that's that's what I heard. I don't. I'm not trying to dive into this shit because I don't know. And I, yeah, I. I don't want to know, but I kind of do it like but, oh, but, but <laughs> overall, overall, though, I feel like it was bogus because a fan sent the location. It would be one thing if we just coincidentally caught her, but a fan sent I mean, the location. I mean, that's how motherfuckers fuckers catch people, though. That's like, why you... I but, that, but that also goes to show the importance of not rap beef, right? No way, it ain't no way to catch nobody. It's, bro, she niggas get no caught off all type nothing. of shit, bro. You people get caught with security. I would like to think that if you I get caught with no security, people get caught with security. Friends. It don't matter. Like, it's yeah, no way to true. get caught. Like, you can get caught with really like it. But do y'all feel like that fan who gave Melo the lowest bogus for that no, shit? No, I don't. I feel like if I have a bunch of mom fucking fans that, that, that fuck, fuck with me, me hard, <laughs> man, and like, they want to see how they go this nigga up. I would, I would want Everybody my fans to tell me where that nigga is. So if you ever rap me for anybody and a fan catches them outside, you want them to see your location? Yes. Send me that shit. Okay. I don't think that. I feel like dangerous. I feel like that's <laughs> easy putting yourself. It could be a setup. Yeah. I feel like dangerous. that's easy putting yourself in a position to die. So if you want to do that, like you do that, bro. All right, man. That shit work for Melo. So bro, that hell no. That shit don't work for everybody, though. I feel like you should already know, bro. When you get to a certain height in this shit, bro. You can go anywhere. If somebody see you, they can put you on their Snapchat, bro. Like, your low can always be dropped by anybody. Just trying to show that they see you. That's why I keep saying there's no way to get caught. like. You, you can't. You gotta be smart with how you move. But well, if they give you a location, shit, bro, know. and it's not the location, and they set you up, your ass done, bro. Hey, is it true she went to the police about that shit? I, I'm hearing she's about to get ready to snitch. I hope she doesn't do that. Like, but like, I also heard Amari said y'all asked me to die. I did. Hear so that. I heard, I heard that, and I heard that. So I don't know which one's true. I just hope she don't snitch, and I hope no one dies. I don't, I don't think the way to go is the police, bro. I don't think that's. I don't think nobody from Chicago. No, no, a couple people from Chicago is snitches. So I can't say that. Nah, bro, for her career, I don't think that's a good look. 
Yeah, yeah, that would be a bad look, yeah. but at the same that's time, worse but, 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 but if we're being honest, that's worse than getting your ass beat. But if we're being honest, right, right, honest right, here, right, Amari right, has right, stated numerous of times that she's a sweetheart, and all, and but even look, though she rapped the shit on Miles too, she's genuine and shit. Man. What I feel like is, boom, you being who you is, how you rap, all that type of shit, you can't, you, you winning right now because you got jumped. All this, she got winning because she got jumped. She winning. I feel like she winning. You did yeah, lose, she but you got wow. jumped. Off of that for sure. Regardless, like and you still alive. Wait, wait, wait. You don't think Melo beat her ass by herself? She, oh, wait, 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 wait. You didn't. You didn't think Melo put the paws on her by herself? I gotta make sure. I, 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 I okay, be look, because I was talking about this. Face wise, Melo did that. I seen when she had a like strong arm and you feel yeah. me? Like mm. I'm like, damn, them bitches coming. I didn't see that happen to Melo though. Nothing happened to Melo. Yeah. I mean, right, Melo was green after that. I'm, I'm talking about like no one is that. She is good green. and she don't <laughs> snitch because she still everybody lose. Like it's okay to lose. Oh, man, some you lose. Win some you lose some. Like it's not even no no pun intended. Like, like that's no pun intended. You do laugh. Man. Man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gonna make me laugh? Like, look, look, I, like I said, oh, these real. topics is, is gonna bring energy at you. You're gonna get talked about but, this but, shit. But, but you can't be dropping the diss songs. You can't be doing that and then not standing on the after you. And on you top of that, never standing on your loss. Right. Yeah. Like you got. You can't. People go got straight. mad at me for not promoting this song. I'm like, bro, I'm not promoting this. Not just because I don't, I don't want you no more. But at the same time, you know what's gonna happen if you keep putting this shit out there. And overall, I, I ain't gonna lie. That shit hurt my feelings. Cause like, I, I, I bet they all have said they came together after a post that I made about all of them. And it's like. To see this shit happen, it, I, I almost take blame for this shit, but I don't want to say I told anybody to do this shit, but it just hurt because it's like, no my goal is to bring niggas around each other, but I'm then that like shit that. ended up happening. It's like, it's crazy. That ass would be was all right, I ain't gonna lie, I'm if Amari down. really want to sell it, she should just take that shit to ass TV. To be honest, you saw, no, 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 not gonna talk about that, no. What you talking about? The no, 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 we ain't talking about that. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Wait, as a matter of fact, we, as a matter of fact, we will talk at that maybe after this shit about right, that shit. Right, Keep right. that in mind, though. All right, next topic. Ari Fletcher says G Herbal still be quote unquote saying things that show he's still trying to fuck. Yeah, 